Hey guys, and welcome back to Naruto episode 127. So in the last episode, we had uh, Kimimaro uh, basically turned into a dinosaur. Yep, that's, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, we also found out a little bit about, there's not much more to say about that. We also found out a little bit more about Kimimaro's past, and uh, he was basically jailed because his clan was terrified of him, which I don't blame them, he can sprout bones out of his, him. Uh, he then went and murdered like most of the people in the village hidden in the mist uh, after his entire clan was wiped out because they were, I mean, a bit insane. We then had uh, the Gara fighting against Kimimaro doing his uh, sand, sand coffin, which, as it turns out, is just covering them in sand. I mean, I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough and irritating and it gets everywhere but i don't think that that makes for a very important jutsu or very like you know effective jutsu uh his sand burial i'm getting confused now yeah sand coffins covering them and sand burial is the one where he crushes them um so yeah it doesn't make much sense just covering them in sand but you know what gara is a force unto himself and will do what gara pleases so i guess it's fine <laughs> But, as I say, it didn't really do much to Kimimaro, who didn't really... He pretty much just shrugged it off and then came back as a dinosaur. Which... This show gets weirder as the episodes go on. But, hopefully we can actually see some sort of conclusion to this Kimimaro fight. And I'm really interested to see what uh, what Naruto is doing chasing after Sasuke. There's only one way to find out, and that's by watching the next episode. But before we do that, do remember, if you've not yet liked this video, to go ahead and do that right now. This is your this is your final reminder, your final call to like the video. This is your final call to like the video. Okay, with all that said and done, let's crack straight into Naruto episode 127. Yeah, I don't know what that form is, but it seems to be quite effective at dodging Gara. So like Gara's been hit again. Is that the best you can do with your ultimate defense? Is that all? Well, I mean, you haven't killed him yet, so calm down. I see an armor-like shell of sand. He is not your only opponent. Oh! Don't forget about Lee, boy! Oh, he's quickly. So Lee's first gate just now. That might have been the end if Gara had not intervened. Oh. Still too weak. Uh, you're gonna have to calm down on the heroics, Lee. I'm tired of that sand. Very well, Gara. You first. Yeah, sand's course irritating and gets everywhere. Oh, lovely! Would you look at this? Not lovely. He's fine. How is it possible? Nah, don't do that, please. So what? Is, like, is it like a whip or is it like a sword? Actually, looks a lot like a sword breaker, but I think it might be a whip. He said Clematis. Did he mean Clematis? As in the flower. That is a whip. Got you. Then the flower. This bone is my strongest. It will bore right through you. Defenses and all. That's a really weird chat line you've got there, mate. This bone is my strongest. It will bore right through you. I think you'd scare it off. What the frick? That thing's strangely adorable. How much longer can Kimimaro last, do you think? Five minutes. For a while yet. You think? Of course, I'd be more confident of his treatment if I hadn't been working in the dark. I would have preferred more information. His medical history. Oh, I thought he was meaning, like, the literal dark. There are no bloodlines. The Kaguya clan is gone, except for him. Yeah, they all died in the mist thingy. They must have been mad to provoke a war with the village hidden in the mist. A war they could never win. 
The price of their madness was their own destruction. I mean, they look pretty mad, and not in the grr, angry boy. Pretending that brute force could defeat an organized power like the Mist Village, it was nothing less than mass suicide. So you're saying that they knew it? Doubt it. His powers were so great that his own clan feared him. So much so that they kept him imprisoned and isolated for nearly all his young life. How lovely. To have lost that rare Keke Genkai of his. Imagine to possess a bone structure of such density that it's an almost impervious defense. And even better, of such adaptability that in offense it becomes a weapon of extraordinary power. Okay, but what's actually wrong with him? Because, like, he he's apparently really messed up, so what happened? No chance. I have fought Gar, and I know that sand shield well. It may give, but it does not break. And this is in a more advanced form. There is no way you will ever break through. Uh, don't speak too soon, Lee. It's like an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. Seems to be moving forward ever so slightly, but how long can Kimmy actually keep up with this? Oh? I thought that was your strongest bone. It's so strong. I took the hardest minerals in the soil I gathered, and then I fused them with the sand using my chakra. He's like a modern day chemist. Or olden times chemist. He's like a chemist. That's a very unusual jutsu. It's a Keke Genkai, right? It belonged to the Kaguya. But now, it belongs to me and me alone. I mean, technically you are Kaguya, though. Then your clan perishes today. Oh! My body has weakened. It may not last much longer. But how, though? I will still live on. How will you live on? I am not alone. Okay. It seems like you're alone. I become a part of you, Lord Orochimaru. Come see the truth of the world through my eyes. That's a bit creepy. Will you come? Yes. Excellent. I knew that I could count on you. There's a lot of sentences that you could take very, very out of context. It would be very problematic. I hope you like it. So this is when Kimimaro became one of the, uh, the sound ninja. Which do you prefer? How about neither one? <laughs> okay, so they all decided to attack Kimi Maro to determine who's the best. And lost. Is that the best you four can do? Just goes to show how crap Sasuke really is. We are now the sound ninja five. Well that's it, I mean they just fought Kimi to try and, like, find out who's the most powerful and that's who leads them. But they done that with Sasuke and just beat the crap out of him. That means a part of me will survive in Lord Orochimaru's heart forever. Okay, so if you die, you're still dead though. Brainwashed you well, you sad little pawn. <laughs> uh, spitting facts. Yeah, I just finish it, Gara. It is amazing he still has chakra. Yeah, Gara's an impressive little bean. I underestimated him. I'll probably be the last person you underestimate there, Kimmy. I will bury you two hundred meters below the surface of the earth. Under pressure so great you won't be able to move a finger. In prison there till the end of time. That's one way to sort them out, you know? You might have a really dense bone membrane, like, under your skin, but how are you going to be coping with being buried alive? You did it! This time I am certain of it! I wouldn't be so certain though, Lee. I mean, Kimmy's got a horrible habit of just coming back like a cockroach. Bracken dance. Bracken? Interesting. And watch yourself, Lee. Why is Lee just sitting there like, oh no! It's true, the more you want something, 
the harder it is to wait for it. Yeah, watch pot doesn't boil and all that. However long it takes, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing. They have no one who can be Kimimaro. Just try and be a little patient, that's all. I don't know about that, though. You saved me again. These powers of yours are truly remarkable. Not really. I'm merely able to make the sand do my bidding. It's second nature to me now. Oh, that's really nice. Just downplaying it. Humble, you know. I am sorry I failed you. Please forgive me, my lord. So is that you? You, you made the ground all spiky and now you're like, no, nope, that's me. I'm out. I'm out of here. The end of the leaf. Finally. Third Hokage. I'm going to teach you a lesson, old man. So Kimimaro was there before they attacked the leaf village. I'm sorry. I was delayed. <coughs> Excuse me? So we find out what happened to Kimi. What's the matter? Something wrong? I'm coughing up blood, douche lord. And that's when he killed the Kazakage. Even the Kazekage of the Sand Village falls before us. Of course, like lambs to the slaughter. I have you to thank for this victory, Kimimaro. So you don't actually assume, like, swallow the body of the Kazekage. Please forgive me, Lord Aruchimaru. What the frick? Did you get the COVID? Did you catch the Kofifi? My damaged body is of no use to him. That was my purpose, and it's gone. Boo-hoo, Tinkerbell. Get a new purpose. How are you feeling, Kimimaro? The attack on the Leaf Village didn't go quite as well as we'd hoped. How's he feeling? You're literally injecting Mountain Dew into his veins. So Lord Orochimaru will soon have a new ideal vessel. Orochimaru's brainwashed you. You're wrong! You don't understand! No, I think he does understand. I think it's you that doesn't understand. I'm so surprised that he can't see just how Orochimaru is using him. I will see the truth of this world. Lord Orochimaru will show me! Mate, the truth of the world is that you are literally just a pawn. And that people will take advantage of anyone who's gullible enough. We won't be seeing him again in this life. Yes, good. What makes you feel like you're so sure about that one? My strength is gone. We must descend. I am not his pawn! Oh lord. He is the one! The only one who ever gave my life meaning! Maybe that's because you never gave anyone else a chance. Could the likes of you ever understand that? Uh oh. Wait, what? What happened? Why did he stop? Hello? Oh no. He is dead. What? Can it be? Oh. Kimimaro. No matter. He's of no further use to me. Oh, I hate you. That Sasuke is coming. And of his own free will. Just as I foretold. No, 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 no. Sasuke. No, 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 no. Shut up. I should have been killed. No, it was not meant to be. My sensei has often said to me, a good ninja always makes his own luck. That meddlesome mother hen. Guy sensei is nothing of the sort. He's a lovely man, okay? We love Guy. I am very grateful to you for having saved my life. But I warn you, I will not abide anyone speaking ill of my sensei. Good man. So you're another one, eh? You have someone in your life whom you honor and revere so much that every hurt inflicted on them is inflicted on you as well. It's really sad, like, Kimi kind of just got brainwashed as soon as he came out of, you know, being sectioned away. What if this person you honor and would even die for is not a virtuous person? Impossible! Such a person would, would be unworthy of honor or respect. Well, look at Kimmy. Perhaps the companionship of even an evil person is preferable to loneliness. And that's exactly what happened with Kimmy. He just latched on to the first person that actually showed him any sort of niceties. Sasuke! The parallels between the stories are very interesting. When at first glance it seems dichotomous, it's not really.
well, that's interesting. Some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool statues there. I wonder if that's going to be the the battleground for Naruto Uzumaki versus Sasuke Uchiha. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by watching the next episode. But unfortunately, we've run out of time in this one, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.